What up, guys? Your boy King Joffy Joe 413, back with another one. How you guys doing? Chilling? You already know me, chilling like always. Alright, so today, you know what I'm saying? DIY Wednesday, back with another DIY Wednesday. We coming with a strong one today, yo. But I know y'all peeping out the shirt. You know what I'm saying? The king right here, the king grip, the gorilla on there, 413. Check out, you know what I'm saying? It's saying on the it's saying on the website, but you can hit up my brother um D rolling on 413. Check out his uh hit him up if you want this one. But there's a couple new ones on the website, so y'all make sure y'all check out the website, kingjoffeyjoe413.com. There's gonna be new stuff popping up all the time. You see some stuff, you go to my brother's um, Instagram, you see a shirt you like, tell him, like, yo, I need that one. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get a feel out of what people like so we can get the, get the good stuff out there. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to make a bunch of bull, put a bunch of bull on the website. But, you know what I'm saying? So let's get back to our Rudder Scratcher program. What's going on today? We're putting on, yo, I ain't seen no one do this video. I think I'm the first first. You know what I'm saying? I seen some of these out there. So what I'm talking about is the handbrake for the Riker. You know what I'm saying? I seen one guy, he did it, he did his um, own. Um, it was dope. It was dope. It like, you know what I'm saying? He gave me all the instructions how to do it. I was going to do a video for you guys on how to do it like that. But me, I really don't want to tap into my brake lines and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't do it. I pondered for a while and I didn't do it. But you know what I'm saying? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What? You know what I'm saying? My family over at ISCI. You know what I'm saying? Ever since I did Ancestry.com, a lot of families been popping out the woodwork. You know what I'm saying? And I got some family at ISCI. You know what I'm saying? We helping each other. I got a lot of family that been hitting me up, like, yo, I found you on Ancestry.com. I see you got a YouTube channel. Can I borrow two Gs? You know what I'm saying? I'm about to lose my vision. If I don't get surgery, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm, I ain't going to be able to just watch your videos no more. And I'm like, oh, man, sorry, you're going to be blind. But, you know what I'm saying? My family at ISCI, you know what I'm saying? We helping each other out. So, they helped me out. They putting the handbrake on. They, got, they hand me over. They sent, oh, shoot. They sent me over the handbrake. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to do the first install video for you guys. Um... For me, this is just going to be an additional break, so I can grab that break if I want to, grab the other break. But for some people, this might be your uh, main break, you know what I'm saying? Because some people have, you know what I'm saying, lost a limb or very uh, bad mobility in their limbs or something like that, and you can't use the break down there. And you want a Riker, you can, if you got a Riker, and you, you know what I'm saying, different people. You might not have a Riker and you want a Riker, or Spider, Spider, they have actually have these sort of Spiders too. So um, if you're looking to get one, this might help you out. And if you already have one and you're like, I need a handbrake, I just want a handbrake, ISCI I got you. You know what I'm saying? You can check them out, ISCIRides.com. Check out their website. They got everything you need for there. So, all right, let's get to it. So, what we got here is we got the um, instruction booklet. Instruction booklet, it's a little thick one, you know what I'm saying? But this is what I'm here for. I'm here to help you with this instruction booklet. So, the last page, you're gonna have your part list. The part list is gonna give you all your parts. So as you can see is, I got mine put together already. Um, the reason I did this is just so I know where everything goes when I put this together. Uh, it's gonna be in the bike like this. That's how it's gonna be in the bike, so. But I put everything together just so I can know where everything goes so it's easy reference. So when I go to putting it onto the bike, it won't be so hard trying to figure stuff out. Um, I went over the instructions many a times. I've had the instructions probably a month. So, um, so you're gonna read this, so you're, you're always told to go over your part list first and make sure you got all your parts, but if you go over your part list first, you're not gonna know, some of these parts you're not even gonna know what they're called. Like I didn't know what like a Calvin pin was, I didn't even know what that was, you know what I'm saying? So what I did was I went through the instructions, I seen what everything was, so you wanna read the instructions first, see what everything is, um, there's pictures, so it'll tell you what to do, there's a picture to go with it, so you can uh, refer to that word, like oh, a Calvin pin, what's that? Boom, picture, that's what it is, so you're like, all right, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our parts apart. We're gonna take it apart, what I got here. We're gonna take it apart and uh, we got two screws here. All right, so we got these two screws here first. You only got two, like everything is like super easy, like super explanatory. There's like not like multiple bolts of the same kind going in different spots, so super easy. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna get it all apart. So I'm just gonna keep that together because we know that goes together. We got this long screw. We're gonna talk about all this in a second. Let me get it apart. 
and I'm gonna go with it, through it with you guys. All right, so the Calvin pin, these are these pins here. You got three of these, you gotta remember. You got three different ones. And they're three different sizes. So if you look at that, they're three different sizes. So I'm gonna show you where they all go. All right, this spring here, all this comes apart. None of this was together. I'm gonna show you how it was when I got it. This was off here. It's just so you can see how easy it comes apart and go together. That, that's basically it. So when I got it, this is how it was. These parts, so when you check your parts list, some of these parts like right here and stuff like that are already put together. Uh, screws are already on here. This is already put together. So you're not gonna see these parts when you check your part list. You're not gonna see those extra parts. This wasn't put together, but they come in a little baggy. Um, <laughs> when you're using the Calvin pins, we're gonna be using these special cotter pins they have. Very good cotter pins. So let me show you how these cotter pins work as we go right now. So little straight parts gonna go through here. You're gonna go over the top and you're gonna let that clip right on there. So you see that's not going nowhere. How you do that now see you gotta work to get that off all right so that's secure all right so let's talk about the tools we're gonna be using so what we're gonna be doing to start what I'm gonna do is so I ride with my uh, foot peg all the way to the forward but we're gonna need room to work in the back to get to the master disorder so we're just gonna flip our peg up and we're gonna slide our uh, slider assembly back. So we don't want it all the way back because we're gonna have to come access a screw to this side. So we're gonna uh, make sure we got room on this side. We got two screws we're gonna be taking out on this side. One screw we're gonna be taking out here, all right? So tools we're gonna be using to take it apart. We're just gonna talk about first. So first screw you're gonna be using for this one bolt here. Oh, actually the first one you're gonna be taking out is gonna be these two Allen keys back over here connected to the um, reservoir. Those two screws are six millimeter so i'm going to use a six millimeter allen key to get those out there's one here there's one on the other side it's going to explain this on the instructions and those two screws and you're also going to be using a 13 millimeter to take that one screw out here so that's all you're going to be using to take it out um after you use those when you're going to be installing oh and you're actually going to be using a uh four millimeter allen key that's gonna go to the back over near the uh, the master cylinder. You're gonna have to hold this screw here. Um, this screw here. You're gonna have to hold that screw, and you're gonna have to loosen this screw. So this nut there is a 10 millimeter. You're gonna see the direction that this is pointing, and you're gonna make sure you hold that right. All right, guys. All right, so and that's all you're gonna use to take it apart. And then the rest of them to put it back together, we're gonna be using a six millimeter again to put those screws back in we're going to be using the seven the three sixteenth allen key and we're going to be using a 12 millimeter socket and then we got a couple of wrenches we're going to be using 10 millimeter seven sixteenth and nine sixteenth i have short and long but we're only going to be using i don't know which one i'm going to be using so i just brought them out both um, we got wire cutters and needle nose pliers all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the instructions and let's go. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is first is, first what you wanna do is you're gonna be removing the two screws that hold your master cylinder. Um, those were the six millimeters that go one here and one towards the bottom. Um, six millimeter, just loosen them up. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna save the, um, you're gonna be saving the washers from those you're going to be reusing the washers from those
so we got those two screws removed. Um, in the instructions, it says that there's a zip tie connecting, there's a zip tie connecting these red wires and black wires to the brake lines, but my bike doesn't have that. So um, I don't know if I took it off in the past, but or 2019, they didn't have that. But if you do have a zip tie, you're gonna make sure you cut that zip tie and you're gonna wanna rerun the wires, how it says. Um, I think my wires already ran like that too. By the picture, what I can see, it looks like it's the same way. Uh, what we're gonna do is we got the two screws out. We're gonna save the uh, Allen keys. I mean, the washers. We're gonna save the two washers from those. We're gonna be using that ones. We're gonna be using these two screws. And this bracket here is called the uh, front, the forward slave cylinder bracket. So the forward slave cylinder bracket, and this is going to be the back cylinder, the rear or the back um, slave cylinder bracket. So we're going to add this one goes on there first. See, I just slid that in there. All right, we're going to be taking our two. Allen keys that they supplied, the um, M8 40 millimeters. We got two of those supplied, so you're gonna use the factory washers with those. And then this is also six millimeters, so convenient. So you got six millimeters for these as well. So now that we got there, we're gonna put them in, but we're not gonna tighten them up all the way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten them to their finger tight, and then we're gonna back off a quarter of a turn, all right? because we need to have it play in it so we can install all the other parts. So we're gonna install the bottom one first. Make sure you get your wires. All right, I see what they were talking about with the wires now. So what we did was um, the instructions tell you to get a finger tight. Um, so that implies to tighten it up to your fingers. Can't get it no tighter. But the screws that came out of there had Loctite on there. So there might be some Loctite in inside the hole. So I can barely screw it in there. So what I use, I use the ratchet. I tightened them up until they were pretty tight. And then I backed off a couple turns. You know what I'm saying? So make sure I got some play in there so it moves around. That's what basically they're looking for. They're looking for some play to look uh, for it to move around. So everything, when you put everything together, that uh, it goes together nicely. Um, farther in the instructions, there is a certain way that you want to tighten up these bolts. You can't tighten up this bolt, then that bolt, whatever order you want. So they got a certain way. You're going to tighten them down. You're going to tighten two bolts, torque them down. Then you're going to tighten the last bolt. It's a couple of different ways. So you want to make sure you do this right, guys. All right. So um, I got the wires. So. Like I told you guys, mine didn't have the zip tie, but if yours does have a zip tie, you're gonna wanna clip the zip tie from off the top of these wires that's holding the red wire and black wire to your uh, brake lines. And when you slip your uh, forward slave cylinder bracket in here, you're gonna see where that they want you to put the wires over the uh, little lip on the slave cylinder bracket. Um, before I put that bracket in there, it was hard to kind of see where they wanted it, but now that it's in there, I can see kind of where they want it to go. All right, so. Now that we got that in there, we got it tightened down. We got a quarter slot back off. Um, we got a quarter turn backed off. We're gonna do, we're gonna go back into the instructions again. All right. So they're gonna tell you, like they told you before here, 
like they're gonna tell you, like I told you before here, um, this is gonna take the tension off your uh, take the tension off your foot peg, so you can loosen this bolt here and get this bolt out. So after you loosen this bolt all the way up, which is a 13 millimeter, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your hand like it shows in this picture here. You're gonna hold your hand underneath the um, the, uh, the whole assembly, the brake, the uh, and lift it up, and that's gonna help you pull the screw out the rest of the way. All right. So, I'm loosen this up. And once it's out the threaded part, that's when you're gonna lift the whole thing up. So this one came loose, pretty loose. I'm loosen that up. And once you see so you lift this up a little bit, you can feel the tension come off of it. Slide it right out like so. It's simple and easy. Um, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding in the rear, the uh, slave cylinder rear, slave cylinder bracket rear. So that is this one here. Um, as you can see, there's two holes here. There's two holes here. Obviously, you're gonna have to line those up. All right, guys. Simple as that. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna slide this. Gonna slide this. Let me see, is that right? No, that's not right. What's wrong with you, bruh? Why would that be out there? See? That's why I'm here doing the video to show you guys the right way to do it. Alright. Hmm. That's good to me. Alright. Goes right in there till we get there. <clears throat> All right. After we get that in there, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be installing the eight millimeter, the eight, the M8 80 millimeter screw, which is this screw here. This is what we're going to be installing now. All right, guys. So as shown, what you're going to do is you're going to lift the brake assembly, like when you took it out, um, to allow the bolt to slide in there easier. Um, and then after that, we're going to install these two screws here that go on the side. So we want to do it in order like they tell us to do it. Got in there. Oh, there we go, look at that. I was having a little difficult time getting it in there. As Soon as I lifted up the peg and lifted it up at the same time, it slid right in there all the way how it had to be. So, you know what I'm saying? What you gotta do is you gotta follow instructions. All right, just make sure this is all the way in there. Where it should be. The screw in here, that's all the way in there now. So now, now we're gonna install these two pins here actually right behind the foot peg right now but we can probably re-engage the foot peg to get those where they go um, these are going to be your four millimeter allen keys all right we're going to make sure we do not tighten them down at this time you know what I'm saying? We got those started. Um, make sure I get this. Uh, the tension off of there. Get this tightened. When I gotta tighten it down, we're just gonna get it in there, get the threaded all the way in there. Make sure it's still loose. We don't tighten nothing down until the end. There we go, you know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is have the right tools for the job. You know what I'm saying? That's all you need. You got the right tools for the job, you get the job done right the right way. Alright, so that's tight. Now I'm just 
can I loosen it up? I did like two, a turn, like a full turn basically. All right, guys. So we got this um, bolt in here tightened up. Uh, it's not tightened up, finger tight. So what? After you do that, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be torquing down some of these bolts. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten your uh, two, your two um, eight m forty millimeters, the ones that's going from the inside, from the outside for your forward um, slave cylinder bracket that go into your master cylinder. You're gonna tighten those down finger tight, right? So we're gonna just. We can't finger them, so we're just going to go with this a little bit. We're not going to tighten them. We're just going to get it until it's not moving anymore. So before, you would have went out a quarter. So just so it's not moving no more. That's snug. Just because there is Loctite inside, we couldn't do that. So we're going to tighten those down. Just snug them up a little bit. All right, now we're going to come over to our 80 millimeter, the 13 millimeter bolt. We're gonna snug that down a little bit. We're not gonna tighten it all the way. Just finger tight, basically. All right, now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pull our torque wrench. We're gonna tighten these two front ones to uh, 21 pounds. So let's get this to 21. 20, 21 pounds. So we're gonna tighten those two up to 21 pounds. And then after we do that, we're gonna tighten this back one to 14 pounds. Boom. All right, now we're gonna tighten our 80 miller. We're gonna torque our 80 miller down to uh, 14 pounds. So let's adjust this to 14. 14 pounds, it's the 13 millimeter we had. torque down there 14 pounds all right so now we're going to tighten and torque the two the 13 pounds there 13 13 these two four millimeters i mean 13 pounds boom it's like my fours aren't both fours Got her in there. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so now we got everything torqued down. What we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be hopping over to the um, jam thrust nut, uh, the thrust lock nut, the thrust lock nut. That's what we're gonna be installing now, down under the bottom after we remove it from here. So let me show you how we do that. All right, just stop it. All right, now we're gonna be going down below to uh, the end of the slave cylinder. We're gonna be removing with the four millimeter that I told you about inside the hole with the 10 millimeter. So you're gonna make sure you don't wanna let this little screw turn up that I showed you guys earlier. So we're gonna put our 10 millimeter on it first. We're gonna put our Allen key on the outside. Break that loose. So now we got that loose. Take the wrench off. Hold the Allen key steady. Unscrew the 10 millimeter. Little screws out. All right. Now let's go to here. What we're gonna be doing? We're gonna be installing. This right here, 
this um, replace the jam the eight jam nut that we just removed with the thrust lock nut that's what this is called so we're gonna be installing this um, we're gonna be using the allen key again to go through here it goes all the way through hold it and we're gonna tighten this up this is a this was a 916 nope this was the 716 so what's up okay. all right so we're gonna make sure we have this side out in there Threads on as easy as it came off. Nice. Just holding my Allen key steady so it doesn't spin. All right, get that finger tight down. I'm just gonna take my little uh, Allen key, I mean my wrench, and just give it a little snug it up, snug it up a little bit. This one does not say do not tighten at, at the end, so I just snugged it up. Not too tight. It wasn't too tight when it came off. Make sure your allen key stays locked in place. All right. Okay, okie dokie. <clears throat> All right, now we have slave cylinder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this first screw. We're gonna use that in a second. So this bottom screw, you wanna make sure it's not too tight. You wanna make sure it's loose, but all the way to the bottom. All right. Do not tighten. Do not tighten that. Damn, let's look my fingers. They're dirty as fuck. Okay, so if you look over here on this little tab over here, if you look over here, um, right here, this little tab right about there, that's where we're going to be putting the end of this in. All right, so we're going to be sticking that in there. Um, when you're putting it in, you're going to make sure you have this upwards. So we're going to slide it right underneath the brake wires and all that. Boom, just leave that right there, like so. Mm-hmm. All right, after you do that, we're gonna put this other nut right on the back of it. Um, leave it loose for now. Just spin that on there on the end. now all right so we got that installed we got it uh facing up where the lines are going to be facing up we got their bleeder screw there it's there all right so now what we got is we're going to be using one of these calvin pins right now we're going to be using the longest one which is gonna go onto the spring. And after you put it on the spring, you're gonna be using a washer. After you put it on there, you're gonna put a washer on there. After you slide the washer through there, we're gonna be using, we're gonna be needing this. So we get the washer on there. Um, this right here is your pivot arm. We're gonna be using our pivot arm Top of the pivot arm, bottom of the pivot arm. So we're gonna be sliding. Oh, we're gonna be sliding this, the Calvin pin, through the slave cylinder and the pivot arm, like so, all the way through. All right, hold on. Let me get my spring on all the way. I want my spring to be back there. I'll put our pivot arm in there. Hmm. 
going to take my Allen, my needle noses, and try to pull my spring back because it's, it slips too forward. There we go. I need to be back like that, but every time I, all right, all right, all right, there we go. Now we're going to install, um, these are called root ring cotters. So we're going to install one of these on the back. All right, got that installed. All right, now what we got here is we got our thrusts. This right here slides into the bottom side of the uh, thrust nut. This is the thrust block, what they're calling it. So what we're gonna be doing with this is this right here. So this slides on. When you put it on, you want to make sure that this side right here is touching to get this um, against the nut. This side here is against the nut that we put on for the onto the slave cylinder. So we're gonna slide that on there first. Just go underneath. Oh, it's not even underneath. It's right there. Boom. Slide it on there. All right. Now we're gonna take another Calvin pin, which is. The shorter of the two so now you have two left you had one longer one now you have a shorter one now you have two so now one's a little bit shorter than the other one so what we're gonna be doing just a little bit shorter we're gonna be using the shorter one of the two and we're gonna be using it right here inside that's gonna connect it from the um, slave cylinder rear the slave cylinder bracket rear through the pivot arm all the way through so like so we're gonna grab another one of our pins, our clips here, and we're gonna stick that on the back of there. See, I told you that wasn't that hard. I was just having a difficult time last time. Look at that, you can see how that's gonna work. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna push that, and that's gonna make that move. Boom, boom, whoop, whoop. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right, so let's go to the instructions again. Back to the instructions. So right now, I messed up. Let me tell you where I messed up. I forgot to put the uh, uh, washer on the back of there. I didn't put washers on the back of none of them. So they give you washers. So we're gonna put the plush washers back on there. So let's pop these back off real quick. Let's get our washers on there. So this is why you wanna read through the full instructions and make sure you do everything right the first time. Back off, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure you put washers on the back of these Calvin pins before you put your rule clip on there. Are you gonna be doing what I'm doing and doing stuff twice. No one never, no one wants to do stuff twice. All right, so now what we got here is we got these two actuating links, two actuating links. So we're gonna be using the last cowling pin, which is the longest of the one, three. We're gonna be using your actuating links and they're gonna go to your thrust um, your thrust block. So all that at once. So if you look at the picture here, this is what we're gonna be trying to accomplish here. And, uh, but when you're doing this, what you wanna make sure is when you're putting it through here, you're gonna put one of these on here, and then you have these nylon washers. You're gonna put a nylon washer on here, and these this side is the side that's gonna connect with, uh, not this side, yeah, this side. This side is the side that's gonna connect with the, um, the pivot arm. So, the side with the pivot arm, you're gonna wanna have nylon washers in between. Onto the thrust block, nylon washers. The washers on both sides, and then you're gonna put another washer on the outside of it, and you're gonna put your uh, rule clip on. All right, so. Cool. 
correct, correct, correct. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on to the handbrake. All right, guys, so now we're up top, back up top, to the bike, to the top, to the tip of the top. Um, so got the handbrake here. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be installing We're gonna be installing the hand thing. So it's three pieces. We got the hand, the uh, master cylinder, or the handbrake, and then we got these two little things that go over your handlebars. So we're gonna slip these over the handlebars like so. You can see that I just moved this little wire down so it goes between the wire and a handbrake right there. And this is a 3 16th Allen key we're going to be using to install her. Uh, you want to have try to have this level right here, your uh, reservoir. You want to try to have that level. You're gonna tighten her down. It's so snug. Woo! Dad, how that look? How that look? How that, how that look? So. What you gotta do before you install this, if you do have a rally, you have to remove your hand guards to put this on. So if you have a rally, um, you know how to take it off. There's four screws, take off the four screws, pull off your hand guard, install this like I showed you. Um, you can have no hand guards, you can have one hand guard, um, however you wanna do it. Um, I have a rally, I don't have no hand guards because I sent my hand guards out to uh, this guy named Bill in Octane Prince. You guys might've heard of him. He said he did some stuff for me before, but I sent my hand guards out to him so he could try to make the hand guards and guess what happened? He disappeared, never came back, you know what I'm saying? So my hand guards are just gone, you know what I'm saying? Um, I might have to go to Virginia and find this dude, but I don't need it now, because I got a handbrake, so not a big deal. Um, and I got my homie, my home girl over at uh, Ironside Customs, you know what I'm saying? Coming up with hot stuff all the time, might be doing something else. But uh, now let's install these lines. All right, so look at the lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we got the screws. It comes with the screws, your bandro screws. And we got your line, so we're gonna stick our line on here. So each screw has two nuts. I mean, two washers. So. So you're gonna put a washer on. You're gonna put a washer on, then you're gonna put it through here, and then you're gonna put another washer on here. Yeah, 12 millimeter. All right, so pull a little cap out of it. There's a little blue cap. You wanna remove that cap. And you're gonna wanna have this face in the back. So we're just gonna put it in there like this for now, and then we're gonna turn it the way we need it to go. something real quick I think this is supposed to go like this all right we're gonna have to spin this thing it's gonna go towards you like so we're gonna orient orient this this way here all right so it's going towards the side
zip tie this wire to this main wire harness but before we do that we're going to bring it straight down and bring it all the way down it's going to be zip tied to this main line up here so it's away from there and we're going to bring it down the front Underneath the reservoir. Shoot through here, like so. They give you a uh, little thing here and a little screw, which you're gonna hook, um, screw your uh, line onto right there. Screwdriver, I mean not a screwdriver, a little holder and a little screw. You feel me? They like the factory shit right there. Right there, right there. Yes, sir. Alright, so they supplied us with zip ties, so I'm just gonna grab a zip tie and zip tie this brake line to the main line like I said I was gonna do. So we got the main line right here, the line harness. Just gonna pull that up just a little bit. Just like so, so I can get the zip tie behind it. Of course, I put it on backwards. Now we're gonna grab another zip tie. We're gonna zip tie it down here to um, to our rail here. Now we got that ran how we run it to run. We're gonna close this up and close this back up. All right, let's go back down here. Now we're gonna be attaching our line to our slave cylinder. Washer through this first on both sides with the line. All 
All right, don't do what I did and drop the screw. All right, washer still on there. Washer on either side. Ah, shoot, finger cramping up. Now we're gonna tighten down nose. Um, I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter socket right here. Tighten nose down. I don't wanna tighten it too tight, but just make sure you snug it down like it's supposed to be. So, um, just gotta tighten up that top one and the installation is finished. Now, all we have to do is make sure when you tighten this up, you got it oriented the right direction. And that's back towards the bars. Don't over tighten it. Let's take some turn. When the bars turns. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be filling up the brake reservoir with brake fluid. So recommend it, only use dot four fluid. All right guys, so I had a little pause real quick cause I checked my uh, stash. We didn't have no dot four. So you want to make sure you get dot four. You know what I'm saying? I had dot three, but we didn't have no dot four. So we want to do this right. So we had to run to the store, grab some dot four, um, pull off the little plastic thing, little bladder is going to come off with it here. You see? And we're just going to fill her up. We're going to fill up our little reservoir. Blah, 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 And I'm not 100% sure if I can bleed this with the top with it off. Um, let me look at the instructions. Let me go back to the instructions. So, I don't think we have to uh, put the cap off. We're gonna try without the cap off. We're gonna have to add more. So now we're gonna come down to this bleeding screw. And this is equipped with, they equipped this with a, uh, it's called, let's, let me go to the page so you guys can see. Like, speed bleeder, speed bleeder. So this speed bleeder, what you gotta do is it has a valve inside of it. So if you know about bleeding brakes, what you have to do is people say uh, you pump the brakes, like if it's a car, you would pump the brakes three times, then you hold it. Once the person's holding it, they tell the other person, they break, they turn the screw to loosen it, all the fluid comes out while the person is still holding it down, all the fluid comes down. While the person's still holding it down, you gotta tighten the bolt back and then they let go of the um, brake pedal and they pump it again three times. Um, so the reason you close the bleeder valve is so that air doesn't go back in when they let it go. This valve, this bleeder valve is made with a valve inside of it. So once you crack it loose, it's gonna come out and you don't have to keep opening and closing it. So it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to bleed this. So it has a little black cap on it that you wanna pull off. I'm gonna pull a little black cap off. All right, little black cap, I pulled off the bleeder. Um, they supply you with a little hose, this little hose right here. You're gonna stick on the end of your bleeder nut. To catch your fluid as it comes out. I got that on there, I got this here. So I'm just gonna grab a little water bottle so I can catch my fluids. All right, it's a half inch. So a half inch. For the bleeder screw, we're just gonna break it loose. Um, it says a quarter turn to a half turn. So that's about a half turn there for us. Let's get a little, a little smoother more. All right, half turn. We got our hose on there. 
We got our water bottle down here prepared for catching. Now we're gonna start pumping. All right, guys. Um, so um, I was pumping for a while, so I we were pumping. Wasn't nothing happening, so I thought I was doing something wrong. So we stopped the video. Uh, actually, I was doing it all right, like always. <laughs> but nah, um, you gotta do a lot of pumping. It's a lot of it's a pretty long hose, a lot of air in there. So what I did was, at first I had it open, and then I uh, was trying to do, uh, do this, and it wasn't doing nothing. So I closed it back, and I started pumping, pumping. Now I'm starting to feel some pressure in here. I'm getting a lot of bubbles coming out of here. The fluid's going down. I already had to add some fluid once. It's still closed down now, down there at the bottom. But I'm gonna do this a couple more times. Build up some pressure, and then I'm gonna open it up down there, and then bleed the rest of the way. All right, see right now? See how I pumped that? All those little bubbles come out. Starting to hear something like it's moving down there. See it moving down there actually. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more brake fluid up here top, and then I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm gonna open up the bleeder nut, um, half turn to a quarter, quarter turn to a half turn it says. So I'm just gonna loosen it up a little bit. I'll say that's probably about a half turn right there. That's right, a little bit more than a half turn, but a little half turn right there. Let's give it a little squeeze, see if we got. There we go, you look down there. See the bubbles coming out? So you wanna keep doing this until you don't see no bubbles. Keep an eye on your reservoir, cause you're gonna have to add more fluid. I'm gonna have to add some more right now. Great fluid there, guys. So now we're gonna top off the. Uh, just gonna top off my brake fluid real quick while I'm up here. I'm gonna come back down here. We're gonna tighten this bleeder valve down. Don't tighten it too tight. Make sure it's snug. Then about an eighth turn, quarter turn. Don't over tighten that. And don't break it. All right, guys. So on this brake fluid, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick that back in the bottle because that's good brake fluid. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's a brand new system. That's good brake fluid. All right, gonna throw our bladder and our lid back on. And button her up. So now that we got the, um, we got it all bled and stuff, we got our light turning on. So what we gotta do now is the last part of this thing is what we gotta do is at the back of the slave cylinder, you had the two jam nuts that uh, hold the uh, slave cylinder on there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the front jam nut and you're gonna tighten that all the way up until you start to see the uh, brake pedal move. So once you start tightening it up in, in the back side here, you're gonna, have, you're gonna see the brake pedal start to go down. Once you start to see that go down a little bit, that's when you're gonna stop tightening it and then um, you're gonna back off a quarter of a turn and then you're gonna tighten up the back nut to that if you're tightening up that nut and you see your brake lights come on that means you went to a little too much and then all what you're gonna have to do is just back off until your brake lights turn off and then turn it then back off like another quarter of a turn and then you're gonna tighten up that nut all right 
So, and after you do that, you're all set. You're ready to go. If you um, have problems, that basically that nut there is. So if you have problems, like you're not, you're hitting a break and it's not stopping fast enough, you can tighten that up a little bit. It's gonna give it a little. It's gonna make it a little stiffer. So when you hit the brake, and, um, it's gonna lock up your uh, wheels a little, a little tighter. So, um, don't right. All right, so. <laughs> See that guys? Um, all right, guys. So that's the install for the ISCI um, brake um, hand brake for the Riker. Um, if you want one of these, you make sure you can go to isci.rise.com. Uh, check them out. Make sure you go kingjoffeyjoe413.com. Get yourself some merch. Um, Stay tuned until next week for a ride demonstration. Next week ride demonstration. Should I put one at the end of this video? Just wait till next week. Mm. Mm, next week we'll show y'all we'll show y'all on the road e-brake uh, handbrake i mean uh, uh, who got one nobody smitty the king <laughs> my ass look at it look at it just keep looking take a little look at that it's magic it's magic yo 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 you know who need this I know I'll be seeing y'all, y'all Philly boys. Y'all be over there, y'all be burning out on the side of the bike like this right here, but now y'all can be like, you know what I mean? ISCI, -I. make sure you hit them up, get you one, yo. Reasonable price, you know what I'm saying? Get you one, install, handbrake. You probably could take that lever off the foot brake if you wanted to and just have just handbrake only, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna keep both. Guys, stick around, check out our next video, subscribe, like, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Everywhere. Check to the next one. Peace.